and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh here. I'm reviewing Cisco. This was a long today, and I really thought this would be great if it gapped up long, and it was. We were up in this. It rallied right out of the gate. Nice call, and then looked great pretty much all day until about 2.15. Couldn't hold up. It just fell off. It just couldn't get enough momentum under it early enough, I think, in the day, which ideally, ideally would have been around 12 o'clock noon, although I was thinking by 2 it would go. And it just didn't. So some people did make money in this. They got out early. If you held it all day to try to get it up, it didn't go anywhere. It really should have gone to 50 in the morning. And, and looking back, the fact that it didn't, I guess, was kind of a sign. But sometimes longs take longer to go. And I talk about this all the time, which is why I do prefer to go sh you know, short mostly. Uh, I do think this continues higher in the chart. Whether or not it will be tomorrow or take a couple of days, I just don't know. That will somewhat depend on the market here because we have a lot going on in the next two weeks. But I will say that this had the rally that you would have wanted to see right away is out of the gate. Why it didn't follow through right up to 50, I don't know. And if it had, we would have been out. So it kind of, kind of was a bummer. But I'm going to go back and show you just really what this did here this morning. Again, it's okay to be aggressive on things that rate well, and, and this just looked great. So boom, here it is right out of the gate. Thought it would shoot right up, came in, boom, made a new high right in here, 32 cents. Again, these are areas, and looking back, I'm like, gosh, you know, I just expected more out of this. I just expected more, but everybody was up in it, and again, some people got out, and it just couldn't get enough momentum under it. It even looked good in here. And this is really, again, I'm gonna just take this off you know, that should have followed through and it just didn't do it. Just didn't do it. So if you didn't get out of Cisco in the morning, Cisco was a stop today. And you could have tried to damage your con control yourself a little bit to lower your your uh, your cost average position by adding in it. But really, when I was looking at that and doing that, I was thinking it was going to take off and go or at least go back to the high of the day or 49 or 49.50 even would have been great. It just couldn't get there. So I'll be watching Cisco and see where it goes in the long term. Every once in a while, something just does not work out. Sometimes then it goes the next day. I usually look for a new thing on the day, but Cisco just didn't do it. Valentine's Day, Cisco was a disappointment for a long-term hold. But again, if you got out of it in the morning, you made money. And looking back, it should have hit 50 earlier in the day. And it should have gone over 70, 75 too. And it didn't. So we'll see what this does in the next couple of days. I'll be watching it. Good luck, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.